Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from ClicksGeek.com. I just wanted to make this quick video kind of walking you through how to swap out a new URL in your AdWords or Google Ads campaigns. Okay, so there are some things here you need to understand and that they've changed. So now, I think in my older video, it's just um, swapping out the ads. Is, I mean, it's simple. I'm going to walk you through it right now. So we'll go into our campaign here. We're in our example plumbing campaign. So we're going to come into the campaign. You're looking at the ad group level of the campaign. We're going to go into ads and extensions. You're going to come up here to ads and you're going to see we have all our ads here. Now, when I made the last video, they didn't have, Google didn't have responsive search ads. So there's a, there's two, there's something you have to do extra this time. Okay. It's really important. So first off, let's say, so we have our, our demo URL here, your business here.co. So that's a demo URL. Let's say we want to change that. All you would do is click, you select all of your ads, come up here to edit change ads all right now let's assume before i'll just pause for a second let's assume that there's um, responsive search ads mixed in here and um we need to change those urls too all right because it's not going to change them all at once that's important to understand if i just come here click all this and come up to edit you can see here it's responsive search ads if i just change this url it's not going to change my text ad, my regular text ads. It's only going to swap the URLs of my responsive search ads. So there's something too, when you swap out, when you're switching URLs in, a, in an active campaign or a pause campaign, Google will only allow one URL per ad group. So if you have paused ads or it, or whatever, and you don't swap the URLs on those, it's gonna disapprove all of your, your ads for destination mismatch. If that happens, you just have to um, change the URL of all your paused ads to um, the new URL. So you got to keep that in mind. All of the, basically this. This is what this is the takeaway we should be right now. Every URL in this campaign that you are going to swap to a new URL has to be the new one. You cannot leave the old URL anywhere. Not in the ad extensions. Not in the ads. Not in paused ads. Not anywhere. Okay. And if you do have ads that have been removed from an ad group and they're the old URL, there's nothing you can do. You can't change those. Sometimes Google will still disapprove because it sees that there's a different URL in that, in that removed ad. If that happens, all you have to do is contact our chat support and they'll get all your ads approved. It, it doesn't really happen as much as it used to anymore. So I think they've kind of are working on fixing that. I mean, it might even be fixed by now. It's May, 2020. I haven't run into that issue in a long time, but I remember in the past, that was always a really big issue was the, um, you would have, you would go into a campaign. I mean, let's say the campaign had you know, 250 ads. You would go into a campaign and you'd have ad groups where there was del deleted ads. And then you change all the URLs, but the URLs on the deleted ads, you cannot change. And Google is like, hey, sorry, you're, we're flagging you here. We're not approving your new URL because you have two different URLs in the same ad group. Even though they were disapproved and there's nothing you can do. You can't, or I'm, I'm sorry, even though they were removed and there's nothing you can do, you can't even change them. So hopefully they, they sort that out. But this is all you're going to do. So let's, let's just take this one step at a time. We're going to go through and we're going to change all the URLs for our text ads. So we come up here. We, we're going to check everything. Let's just do it from the beginning again. So we're going to check everything. We're just going to do text ads first. Edit. Change ads. Come up here. Text ads. Final URL. Paste your new URL in here. Hit apply. Okay. Now let's say we have responsive search ads mixed in somewhere down here. All you're going to do, we're still going to click all of them again, edit, change ads, responsive search ads, final URL. As you can see, you can change different things in here. Final URL. You don't, don't worry about mobile final. Just do final. And this is where you're going to put your new URL. All right. And another thing to do also to keep in mind when you're changing out these URLs, do them both right one after the other very quickly. So come in here first, do your text ads, then come back and do your responsive search ads all right so that's just something to keep in mind and it's pretty easy i mean you can do this dynamic too whatever your can it depends what your campaign is all right find and replace so you can do all this different stuff i guess you can't really change your dynamic stuff anymore call only ads there you go verification url so you can swap those out too so that's pretty much it. There's not really much to swapping a different URL in a campaign. Just my biggest takeaway for you guys is to make sure that if you're doing it on a campaign that has regular text ads and responsive search ads, that you do them quickly one after the other. 
and that you keep in mind that an ad group might have a paused or removed keyword. So you come up here, do all, and this is where it would show you if you have um, like deleted stuff or paused stuff because you want to make sure that you get all of them going. All right, I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And um, if you're interested in learning more about AdWords and stuff like that, we have an AdWords uh, Google Ads Academy course. So just check that out. I'll put a link in the description for that. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.